Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? We are back playing some solo Rust today, and I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I've uh, kind of developed like a unique spin on a one by one base design, which is honestly maybe the strongest one by one honeycomb base design that you will ever see. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started and find a suitable place to to get a little start. This is a monthly monthly server. It's wipe day, but I'm about four hours late to wipe. You can see people are taking Bradley already. Choppers out. I'm thinking either this kind of area around here. Then we can use Bandit to recycle. Yeah, let's go check that out. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <clears throat> now I know you've heard of Raid, but what's it really about? Well let me be your guide to everything Raid. Raid has awesome PvP combat you can take on the world in Classic, Team Tag, or the newly added Live Arena. Raid is constantly evolving, adding new features and quality of life updates. So with Raid, there's always a new challenge to take on. Do you guys want a free legendary champion? That's a silly question, of course you do. And especially when they're as cool as this. Check out Sun Wukong, Raid's take on the mischievous Monkey King coming as a free legendary champion. All you've got to do is log into Raid on 7 different days between August 22nd and October 23rd to get your hands on this awesome champion. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? New players, only now you have a chance to get one of the best epic champions, Stag Knight, as well as a skin designed for him by JonTron himself. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. Also, if you click on my link or scan the QR code right here, you can get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video. So now nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day man. I'm I'm keen. Get to try and get a bow or something. <laughs> Bad enough. <laughs> Wipe day is not for everyone man. Hey perfect. Nice. We're low. No way. Perfect. <laughs> That's actually perfect. I think I might make my way to Bandit Camp and we'll wait for daytime and then we'll find a decent decent place to build, do a bit of a recycle. This road's looking pretty nice to be honest. Keep one of those, we keep the pipe too. Man, that stick drift. <laughs> it's because my right dead zone is so low, like I run a right dead zone of two. It's what I feel gives you like the, the most control over your fine movements, but then the only downside is the map is always drifting. <laughs> Yeah, I think this would be a good spot. Is there somewhere I can get blue lighthouse for green card, harbor for blue? Yeah, I think it's pretty decent. But yeah, let's uh, do a little bit of farming. Honestly, the hardest part about about putting this base down is the starter. So, what I'm gonna do. Get a bag down. I might even F1 kill, respawn at that, respawn at that um bag there, and then just put the starter down just with wood. Leave all my loot here and bandit. 
<laughs> I was like, man, is it going to be anywhere decent to farm nodes around here? That's the next question. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. This place is going to be awesome. I'd had a safe run across the map to where I wanted to build, which was close to Bandit, with easy access to oil rig, and the cards that I'd need to run it. I had all the blueprints I'd need to have a successful wipe, and I'd end up building one of the greatest and most compact solo bases, which included an awesome twist to a commonly used bunker that I can almost guarantee you haven't seen before. I was ready to farm up some resources and get down the starter to this awesome base, when I saw a farmer off in the distance. Someone farming over there. Might be a Nike. Ah, oh, right. So you just invalids. Cool. That's so bullshit, man. exactly what I needed. This naked had some useful farm for me, but unfortunately I picked an awkward spot initially to put the base down, so after wasting some much needed resources, I had to move. I'm legit moving. Son of a bitch. The footprint you need is actually quite a bit bigger than what I what I originally thought building this base. Okay, we could try this. I think this will work. Okay, let's see how we go. Cap that off with a square, and then this is why you need the, the TC is pretty much to get rid of all the excess without it taking you like an hour. We just build back with squares, and we get rid of this triangle here. Okay, so this is your starter. Probably do have enough actually to build the actual core. a lot more painful than it was supposed to be. Burn anyone destroys those. Alright, we'll just get a TC down and then we're sweet. Alright. So this is going to be TC compartment. Finally. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Okay, let's go get that um, stash, stashed body. Ah, oh, that little farmer was uh, very useful for me there. Oh, what the fuck? You cool there, bro? Jeez, I can relax. This road's gonna be crazy for comps. Once I get to the point of actually farming. Okay, we 
need farm. I need uh need to quickly upgrade this base. Let's go hit some hit some nodes. Different guy. Oh shit, it's a trio. There's more. Jesus, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. There's no way. Come on, hit him. No fucking way. Fuck's sake, this fucking game. Oh, that guy with the Tommy, what's he doing? Did he only bring out one mag? I think that's what he did. That's pain. That is pain. I had missed the opportunity to score an early game weapon, and also found out that a 4 plus man group lived just over the hill to me to my north, so I knew that water treatment would probably be locked down for the most part. I set my attention to doing some farming for the base. Would have been good though. Five metal frags. <laughs> uh, that boar man's gonna be holding down treatment. I can almost guarantee it. Oh shh. <laughs> Hello? Okay, this one there. Two guys. No, he hits it. Uh, I was not expecting there to be an airdrop right there. Early game losses like this are rough and took me down a peg or two, but I kept my head up, being all too familiar with the ups and downs of solo life, especially on wipe day. I knew that I'd get my break eventually. Damn, if you like, <laughs> early losses like that really sets you back. When you, when you have no weapons to fall back on, like that's both my crossies gone, I gotta be a bit more, a bit more uh, careful with my loot. These boxes are respawning kind of crazy quick though, so we should be fine. Just 
Let's whack you down there for now. I don't have ladder BP. <laughs> no, what do you mean? How do I not have ladder BP? Oh no. I'm gonna have to find myself a ladder. But I think the priority is finding a ladder so we can get a get an airlock down. Luckily I don't have any neighbors just yet. Nah, that's gonna be run all day, I can just tell. Get some uh, scrap teas going. I can taste your lies. How to measure the love you throw around. I could never hold you down. One of us will have to take you back. Healing you so close to me, we try around. Oh, it's getting fucked up. Plays. Had that guy so low. <laughs> I didn't get the rounds for the DB. But we just depot, we'll go straight back. They had so much animal fat, it's perfect. like a pancake layer. I think that's it, and then I think it's a root. Cooking. Come here. Gotta be careful out here. This is where that poor man was roaming before. He must be running train, I guess. A bad little run. Decent amount of metal frags. 150 scrap. It's pretty pretty solid. It is a good little area for comps. It's a bit quiet at the moment though, to be honest. Kinda wish like wish there were a few more bases around or something. I, th I would have thought with the oil rig down this way there'd be a bunch of bunch of groups down here, but maybe later on, we'll see. Probably not a bad thing to allow me to get my uh, base up and running. Ladder, how? Oh man, that's next on the tech tree. We're gonna have to learn that. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet.
Cool. That works perfectly. Okay, let's wait until daytime. I'm gonna go see what the dogs are freaking out about. Okay. So now that we have an airlock, we're about ready to uh, put down the first bunker, which is essentially already done. I'll show you guys. And this bunker is so cool because it's like a, um, it's a stability bunker. Like, you know, the one where you put the two high raised triangle foundations. So it's a stability bunker, but without the raised foundations, which is really sneaky because from the outside, no one can tell that it's a bunker. So what you do from here is you put like a triangle frame here. And then, so this is the stability bunker part. So it's just a full height wall that you leave twig. And then the triangle is this, and that should be like 31%. Yeah, 31% stable. When you break the twig, opens the bunker. So you can upgrade this to high qual, is recommended. But now I'm just going to make it stone because I don't really have the resources. So yeah, that's the first bunker. And um, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty sneaky. And it's all because of that funny like 17, 17 triangle build out. That's why this works. Cause this, like what I'm standing on here is offset to those two triangles. But that's where the, that's where the next part of this base comes into play. Because of that offset, we can also add a double offset bunker to this base. Get those wood teas crafting. So yeah, let's try and build the uh, second and third bunkers while we're out here. As game lads would say, remove all excess twiggies. <laughs> Here we just go half walls. So why don't we see if the bottom one works first? Yeah, see that's connected to that because the the lines are going that way. Whereas what we need is we need it connected to here. There we go. You can see that little like shift. So we need it on the lower, like when it goes lower, that's when we need to attach it. Cause if we go there, it's gonna connect to the, to the um, main base. Okay, so the bottom one's working and the top one should be the same thing. <laughs> yes, it works. Oh, uh, thank God. Okay. We get a recycle in over at Bandit because I want to rush tier two so I can get garage door down and like reinforce window. Let's get that tier two down. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the nodes here are insane. Feels so nice farming with a savage pig too. <laughs> Alright, I gotta head off for a bit. Head out. So I'm gonna seal up the old bunkers for the first time. And yeah, see, uh, see how we go. Yep, that's right. That's right. Alright, hopefully we survive. I can't see us not surviving, so I think it'll be sweet. Well, just as I kind of expected, it's now 4 p.m. and there's like 70 people on. So I don't, I don't think a quiet server is going to be a problem anymore. I was a little bit worried there, but we're not raided, which is nice. And yeah, hopefully the hopefully the bunker works, because that would throw a real spanner in the works if it didn't. <laughs> yeah, we got to spawn outside. Yeah, we get a new base down in the water there. Oh, they could be trouble if they're oilers. That sounded good. It sounded like some things broke. Hey, the bunkers work. Yes. I wasn't sure they were going to work. Okay, so before we go too far, I really need to, I really need to get an airlock on the roof because when the bunkers open, the last thing I want is to get deep done. So I think we just do it with, maybe just windows. Yeah, we just do it with windows. Feeling a bit more secure now. It fits there nicely. Hell yeah. Flame turret upstairs is probably not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, I love this base already. <laughs> I think we have enough to make a chainsaw too. What are you doing, bro? I didn't bring out my... Didn't bring out my ammo for the pipey. Damn, you have blue card. Nice. So we got some more storage now. Thank you would. Oh shit, he had red card, man. He just did water treatment. I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's so good. Oh man, we can do like 
We can do rig. Hell yeah. He was going to that little base, I think, as well. The base that I saw across the hill, like near Bandit. Hey, do I try and do rig? We could try rig. Actually, I got an SMG, buddy. Let's make a Tommy. Got the new skin. Scientist, okay. Hey, oil refinery, hell yeah. Doing that, buddy. <laughs> He's just broken naked. Hey, hell <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's get the hell out of here. No way, no one's running rig. It's kind of crazy. And a load of that airdrop too. You know we gotta get that lantern going. Starting to look pretty good. Looking pretty chunky. Like, as chunky as a one by one honeycomb can look. I think we're about ready to make this a garage door. Yeah, rig's gonna respawn, like, very soon. We should, uh, get ready for it. Yep, right on cue. Okay, we're gonna do this rig attempt, and then I'm gonna have a little break take doggos for a walk uh, you know it's been like it's been a really enjoyable wipe day I'm just gonna put it out there i don't know why but this server doesn't feel like that crazy even though it's full pop now but who knows this might that might just change at this uh rig run <laughs> we'll have to wait and see
Oh my god. Hey, not bad. Boaty Forex? <laughs> nice, man. Let's get out of it. Hey, let's go. What a good whack day. Oh, God. See you guys in a bit. Hey. I mean, I'm not surprised, really. Okay. Outpost was a long way from my base, but I really wanted a jackhammer, so I made the run over and bought some tack gloves at the same time. On the way back, I noticed a new base that had popped up on the coast just down from mine, not too far from where I'd seen this three man running from. Ah, uh, fuck, that's probably the three man that I cured before. If it's one sheet metal door, I might actually do that. I wanted to keep my area as unpopulated as possible, so I went over to check it out.
Hey, what is that? Because I can see more wood. And there's like a gap? Hold on. Could chop that out. Could chop that out. This would be so sneaky. Imagine if this worked. <laughs> Sorry lads, I know that's toxic, but like, I just wanted to get them out of the area. This this area is already going to be hot enough, and I didn't have any materials to seal. That worked out pretty well. I griefed these guys with the hope that they'd move to a different area. When you're a solo, you have to do what you can to survive, and only a few minutes later, all of my decisions were validated. You good bro? Anyway, suck my big fat nutsack, you stupid You're getting raided. Man, everyone's so fucking toxic. I'm definitely getting raided though. Let's be honest. We're actually nearly at a tier 3, which is kind of insane. I think if I did some recycling, I'd be able to craft a tier 3. Go for a roam. I got you. Leave my paddle. That's all I want. Just leave my paddle, at least. Just leave my paddle. Thank you so much, man. God. Give me some food. Give me some food. Come on. Give me some bandages or something. Come on. I need some bandages. Help a girl out. Hey, a little please here and there doesn't go astray. I've died so many times. I don't even have a start. Come on. Please? Pretty please? Come on. I've died so much. I'm just trying to get to Bandit, man. I've died so much. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I know the feels, man. I know the feels. Shut him. I'm just gonna fight him like straight away. Don't know why I'm pushing down onto a an awful spot like that, like on a sloped hill. Like, what are you doing? He was so bad, too. Oh my god. He would take ages to loot, though. I've got a feeling. Might be able to score this back. Surely they live in one of these bases. Damn. That was a shit kit anyway, I think. Boy, he was gonna be up late pretty soon. I'm expecting a counter this time. Someone took it half an hour ago. So I feel like they're gonna be trying to get it on timer. That's why I wanna get out there early. average it's not at me the worst thing that you've ever done in your life, I think. Oh my god, man. Taking the bolty. Here they come. There's three of them. Fuck. I 
tried to go back, but there were more than I thought, and I died again. But you can't win them all, so I was cool with it. There's three of them! What do you mean there's three of them? Yeah, I definitely didn't know there was three of them. I thought there was only two. So, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to play tomorrow, and um, and also there is a good chance that I'm going to get raided tonight. So, I think I'm going to chuck the C4 on that on that sheet metal door. <laughs> I think we're going to do it. I think I can craft C4 anyway. I can craft Explo and Explosive, so might as well. <laughs> this is not worth, man. to lock his TC, man. Yeah, that's not that bad. 230 scrap. 20 high core is kind of handy too. Not all bad. I hope my little base survives the night. I'm not sure that it will. But I really hope it does. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, boy. That's insane. No way you can do that. Well, look, I might get raided, but at least I'll know that. Whoever raided me had a bad time doing it. That is so good, man. I can't believe you can do that. That's so cool. Alright. Take it easy, guys. Hopefully we're alive come tomorrow. Well, it's uh, the morning of day two. I wonder if those guys that I raided, like Eco raided, would uh, live up to their expectations and raid me. Hey, <laughs> we're safe. Hell yeah. I really like this base. Like, I've really enjoyed living out of it. I wasn't able to play much today, but rather than letting my unique compact base erode to nothing, I wanted to give it away. And I had the perfect person in mind to give it to. But I'm so tired. Wandering Yeah, I'm lost Hey man, up, up the hill here yeah, That's alright man, I think like most of these boxes are unlocked But might be a couple that you have to break open Alright brother, enjoy 
I got the tier 3 on my buddy here, so. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thought by now pain 